antimicrobial is an agent that destroys or prevents the growth of microorganisms which include bacteria, viruses, protozoans, fungi, and other infections. Animals, plants, and humans are gradually developing resistance against antimicrobials as bacterial, viruses, and parasites changes over time and no longer respond to medicines. Antimicrobial resistance has become a global threat as the efficacy of common antibiotics against widespread bacterial infections is gradually diminishing. It is in lieu of this that the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, World Health Organization and other developmental partners came together to form a common front by creating awareness, understanding and effective education on antimicrobial resistance. Ogun State joined the rest of the world to commemorate the 2023 World Antimicrobial Resistance Week at the Veterinary Services Department of the Ministry of Agriculture, Itaiko in Nabeokuta, with the theme Preventing Antimicrobial Resistance Together. The event had in attendance students from selected private secondary schools in the state to inaugurate the Antimicrobial Club with the intention of bringing about social behavioral change as it concerns the use of antibiotics and antimicrobial drugs in animals. The Commissioner for Agriculture, Mr. Bulu Owotomo, represented by the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry, Mr. Samuel Adeogun, says the theme is aimed at encouraging policymakers healthcare providers and the general public at tackling the menace of antimicrobial resistance. It's believed that this year's team that preventing antimicrobial resistance together is aimed at encouraging stakeholders including policy makers, healthcare providers and the general public to recognize that everyone can help tackle antimicrobial resistance. In fact, such targets like this are necessary to achieve goals for preventing and reducing MR within a specified time frame. I'm sure you'll be wondering why are we concentrating our efforts at students. It's because we are the future. That's why. Oru Tomo explained that several achievements have been attained in the areas of agriculture, animals, and human health care in the state. Several achievements have been recorded by the present administration in the area of agriculture, animal and human health in the state, some of which includes the introduction of veterinary extension and records, aquatic and wildlife disease surveillance, reporting, prevention and control of zoonotic diseases by the provision of dog and human antirabies vaccine. During the World Antirabies Day, we also gathered youths and students like you together to disseminate the information on the scourge of rabies and the need to prevent it. And we were glad that a lot of you students were there, as well as students from other schools, and particularly the public schools. So I think it's important we need to take this message down to every other person. But the state has continued to put in place necessary measures and programs in order to ensure that the state attains the desired height. The state government has domesticated the Animal Disease Control Act 2022 of the federal government because it advances healthy living amongst us and will ensure full implementation as well as enforcement for the betterment of the good people of the state. I am aware of MR clubs established in some of our secondary schools in Ogun State. This, I must say, is a step in the right direction. And I want to encourage and I want to assure both the Federal Minister of Agriculture and Food Security and FAO that this will be promoted even in our public schools. The Commissioner assured the partners that the state would continue to support actions as well as proper surveillance that will promote proper use of antimicrobials in the state. The state government will continue to support actions to prevent, encourage surveillance, 
and monitoring with AML, as well as promoting the proper use of antimicrobials in Ogo State. Likewise, we admonish everyone to work as partners in progress as Ogo State welcomes your support for specific measurable targets, both on antimicrobial consumption and antimicrobial resistance. The consultant to Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations in Ogun State, FAO, Dr. Donshina Kwange, says there is need to create more awareness on antimicrobial resistance for a secured future. I really want to appreciate you students. You are the reason why we are here. And you've shown, when we came last year, you showed us that you've learned something. And these are things that we expect that will not just before, you know, when you come each year, but that the behavior change will be part of your life. You showed us that you learned something about just taking drugs anyhow, that that is not good. You showed us that you've learned that, you know, you need to consult a doctor. You showed us that you don't need to go and take a bow and say, oh, it's okay. You showed us that you learned that you don't take your drugs and just leave it halfway. So we are convinced that we are learning something. And um, I'm happy that the other schools that we met the first time are also here. All I need to say at this point is that please spread the news. This is what the Awareness Week is about. Spread the news. We want to create awareness because if you do it and the others don't do it, we've still not done it. The thing for this year is preventing antimicrobial resistance together. It involves everybody, the people in your neighborhood. If they are abusing antibiotics, you are at risk. So others need to know. Please spread the message. Let us do it together so that no one is left behind. So that our future is secured. So that when we need antibiotics, when we are sick, they will work for us. Right now, some of them cannot work for us because of resistance. The Chief Veterinary Officer of Nigeria, Dr. Columbia Vakuru, represented by his assistant, Dr. Mudupe Ogunoiki, says antimicrobial use in both human and animals should only be prescribed by qualified doctors or veterinary doctors. Antimicrobials are drugs or substances manufactured to either kill or inhibit the growth of disease causing organisms such as bacteria, fungi, protozoans, etc. They are grouped according to the microorganisms they act primarily against. For example, antibiotics are used against bacteria and antifungals are used against fungi. This veterinary antimicrobial should only be prescribed for administration by qualified veterinary doctors after a laboratory confirmation of the clinical diagnosis of the disease in question. The veterinarian by nature of their training has adequate knowledge guidelines for the treatment of infectious of diseases and is able to recommend treatment durations and doses based on the best of each clinical evidence for each case. In fact, they are the only ones empowered by law to prescribe antimicrobials for animals. We are human beings. We want to save these antimicrobials for the next generation. For your own generation, where you will begin, you will be in our position and you will be having your own children. We want these antibiotics to be preserved for them. Because if we don't do the right thing now, it's not likely we're going to have antibiotics for the next generation or antimicrobials encompassing all for the next generation. And we don't want children mortality. Dr. Vakura emphasized the leading causes of antimicrobial resistance. Antimicrobial resistance is rising so dangerously to such a high level in all parts of the world, threatening the ability to treat common infectious diseases. Some of the leading causes of AML are use of antimicrobials without prescription, over prescription and overuse by the public. Also, application of these antimicrobials by unauthorized persons leads to misuse, overuse or abuse with attendant consequences. Some of these consequences are the infection or the disease can no longer be treated by first-line antibiotics. What do we mean by that? That is, if we are supposed to use maybe tetracycline for something and that tetracycline is not working, the last resort antibiotic, colistin, is the one that is working. There's problem. 
It means you don't have, you can't go further to help that patient. Loss of livelihoods and income through higher mortality and decreased productivity with, inc with negative impact on affected business. Newer drugs are more expensive than older drugs. It is aimed to increase awareness of AMR worldwide and to encourage best practices among the general public, health workers, policy makers, and our children as well, so that they can have social behavioral changes. He encouraged all and sundry to come together and tackle the menace of drug resistance. For us to build this nation in all areas, we must honestly and transparently work together to tackle this menace of drug resistance that has tremendously affected the growth and development of this indo of all industries in Nigeria. The total support of all of us is to in this cause we go a long way in improving veterinary services, delivery, boost food security, enhance export trade of livestock and integrated products, and also expand the national GDP as Nigeria seeks lucrative ways to expand the revenue flow in the economy. Dr. Uluwatoi Ayo Ajayi, the State Coordinator, Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security, also lent a voice on the World Antimicrobial Resistance Day. Globally, there is a week set aside to celebrate and create awareness on antimicrobial um, resistance. Antimicrobial resistance has been a, a, a menace for some time now. And what is antimicrobial resistance? That's when uh, microbes, bacteria, viruses, fungi no longer respond to the treatment, to the medicines that they used to respond to. And if we are not careful, it will get to a point where infections will no longer re re respond to any treatment. And then the whole human race will be in trouble. So that's why there is a need to create awareness on the dangers of antimicrobial resistance and also create awareness on responsible use of antimicrobial. A woman that is going to give birth through CS needs to be given anti antibiotics because of infection. Now imagine a scenario where CS has been carried out, antibiotics have been given but it's not working and the wound is not healing. That's a bad scenario. Imagine a, a small tiny infection, maybe a boil on the leg, and we use the normal antimicrobials and it's not working and the wound is not healing. When we use antimicrobials in animals indiscriminately, human beings end up consuming these animals. These animals end up defecating in the environment. The rains fall, push these things into the water and human beings take the water. And so with time, the, the, the microbes in the environment begin to develop resistance and the antibiotic that used to suppress or kill that microbe no longer works. It's no longer working. And so the whole, both animals, human beings, everybody is going to be in trouble if antimicrobials cease to work. So that's why we are creating this awareness. That's why we are making all the noise. And we are trying to catch the children young. If we can catch the younger generation, we can nip so many bad practices in the board. And that's why we are having these students. This is the only state where we are still doing this in Nigeria for now. That's why we are catching them young. For them to go on with this message, with this gospel of antimicrobial resistance. For us to be able to break that cycle. Because antimicrobials are no longer being manufactured. The companies that manufacture antibiotics, they are no longer doing it because of resistance. And so with time, if we are not careful, we we'll have lack of response to the antimicrobials we are used to. Goodwill messages came from other stakeholders and teachers of the selected secondary schools. If these young ones can catch that vision, they will to tell others, they will tell themselves, they will go on to tell their parents too, and we will be able to spread the message out in a more wider perspective. But I would like to beg us, sir. I don't know if it, these are just the schools that have the club. Let us expand to all schools in Ogun State, if possible, so that this message can reach out to all nooks and crannies of the state. We see drug abuse, misuse of drugs virtually every day. And uh, in as much as we try as much as possible to tell them the implication of what they are doing, because the knowledge is not there, the foundation is not there, 
the proper understanding is not there. We just take it casually. So I want to thank the organizers of this uh, program that uh, is a good uh, thing. And uh, I, want, I want it also to go to various livestock associations like the Panok, like the Katu, Yoni, every sector. It will help a lot. Sincerely speaking, what the challenges we are facing on this resistance is enormous now. And if care is not taken, we will be losing you know, many of our livestock in, a, in an abnormal condition. It has been so informing. In the past one year that we held the last anti microbial resistance week, we have created awareness within the school, letting the other students to know what antimicrobial resistance is all about. Uh, when uh, some of our members have graduated out of the school, so we admit new students, we let new officials, the president, the PRO, the vice president, and the secretary for the club, attending meetings uh, uh, of the club, telling them what to do up to the very present stage. While welcoming guests earlier, the director Department of Veterinary Services, Ministry of Agriculture, Dr. Taiwo Jolaoshu says Ogun is among the fewer states in the country where children have been impacted with knowledge about antimicrobial resistance. These students that you are looking before you, sir, they are members of Antimicrobial Resistance Club in Ogun State. We want you to know how much have been imparted into these students and how much they can give back to us. So it is that celebration. We want to know what they have been able to do within one year. Last year, when they came around, we did not gather them like this. We went to two schools that, were, that have established the clubs. That's um, Beacon College and um, the students presented their understanding of antimicrobial resistance in a drama sketch and debates.
giant strides crew caught up with some of the students and stakeholders at the event. They expressed their views on the use of antimicrobials. As citizens of the country, we have a role to play in ensuring that we take action against antimicrobial resistance because there are so many diseases and so many infections out there that are becoming more deadly and deadly by the day. So our job here is to look for ways to prevent the spread and contact of antimicrobial resistance, which could include cautioning our use of antibiotics. We shouldn't request antibiotics from our doctor for minor infections like cold or flu. And when we need to, we should be sure that it is prescribed by a healthcare professional who is licensed in his job. When I think of antimicrobial resistance, the first thing that comes to my head basically is the pathogenic microbes building up walls against antimicrobial drugs so that we cannot get the healing, the treatment that we think we are getting. I advise that please you do not take unprescribed medication. Get prescription from your doctor and get the drugs from the pharmacy before you use them. You don't know what is in those drugs. You don't know the side effects they could have on your body. You don't know how you would react to them. You don't know what it's doing. You think you know, but you actually don't. So I advise you not to do that. If you use the drug and the ailment is still not going, then you should see your doctor again. If you want to prevent antimicrobial resistance together, both the government and the public have to come together to do that. We have to stop taking drugs that we don't get from the hospital and we don't overuse drugs they give us or underuse or misuse them or abuse them either. With the level of awareness on the use of antimicrobials in the state among school children, it is evident that the future of our children is secured as they will not use drugs indiscriminately, especially antibiotics. This will promote best practices in the care of human and animals and the society will be better and healthier. Igbega Ikmile Ogun, Adyoshe Wani. Thank you.